This little video is to show how easy it is to program up a Prototrack SLX CNC lathe from XYZ Machine Tools. Had this a um, couple of weeks now, I suppose, really. It was delivered a little bit before them. Had to training at the end of May. So now, in the middle of June, had a couple of weeks to mess around on it, turn a few bits and pieces off. So this is just showing you how easy it is to program up a simple part. First of all, when you start up, you have to check the system, maximum RPMs, and then we'll go straight into a program. We'll call it Hub 1, because this is the first part of the program, doing the program in two parts. Our machine one side will be turned around and then machine the second side. So we've put our program name in, go to the beginning, now we're going to do this, this is the part just there, so we're going to do part, two parts, the first part we're machining this bit out, and then the second part we're machining this little bit, as it's going to be done in more than one event we'll do what's known as a cycle, and we'll go tell it where to begin, so we're going to begin on the X as minus one, because we had a tool radius of 0.8 on our roughing tool, so I don't want to end up with a little pip on the end. And Z, we'll begin it at plus two, so it's outside the outside the blank. Depth of pass, we'll take two mil off, approaching the Z axis, 200 surface speed, 0.25, as the feed error, tool one, we'll have a separate Z finishing cut, so that's 0.1, on the uh, X and on the Z, 0.05, still same surface speed, and I'll have finish into two. So the next, we have a look. Basically, our tool is starting there, which is in the minus on the X and positive on the Z. So the next we want is we want to the turn cycle where we move the tool into the face of the workpiece. So X end at minus one still, Z which is that way at zero. Don't want to chamfer on it. So if we have a look, we sent the tool in towards the Z datum of our workpiece. Now we want to pull the tool out. So we're going to end at X at 90 and Z at 0. I want a chamfer on the end and I want a 3 mil chamfer so I'll do 3 and then abs for chamfer and if we have a look we've got, now got a line going in and then coming out there's no chamfer on it because we don't know what we're doing next. So the next one is a cycle turn so we've done that bit and now we're doing this bit so we're still ending at 90, but we're now going 88 in, so it's minus 88, and I don't want a chamfer, but I do want a radius on the inside. So if we now look, come out and we see the chamfer, and it's going along. So next one, cycle turn again. Now X end, we want to end this outside the diameter of the workpiece. The diameter of the workpiece is 150, so I'm going 151. Z end is minus 88, and that's now, don't want a chamfer any on it, so that's now showing us, so we've got coming out, chamfer, radius, and then coming out. Now I want to cycle the position, because I've done all the cutting I want, and I want it to X end at 151, because I don't want to put it back through anything, and Z end is plus 2. That then takes us back down, and now we just do end cycle, yes, and we've now got a nice closed loop, and that should take all our material out. So what we can do is we'll have a look at setup, have a look at tool path, and we can see a tool path there. Blue lines are cuts, red lines are rapids, and the yellow X's are where it starts, so that looks fine. We'll go set up and we'll verify the part. But define our stock first. Our stock is 105. So 
So that is all good. I'll do the make part. That now shows in 3D. We'll slow it down. If you verify the part, we'll see how it's going to make it. This is tool one, this is the roughing. As you can see, it just has lots of nice roughing cuts. Leaving a bit on for the radius, a bit on for the chamfer. Now it's going down the face. Now you can do a facing cut to start off with. I'm not bothering. It'll only be taking 0.5 of a mil off. And now the final roughing cut. Out to do a tool change. Finishing tool. And there we have it. Our part is all made. Now what I need is a billet to put it in the machine and press go.